A YouTube viewer recently asked me, how do you calibrate the axes of a laser machine, laser cutter, specifically relating to an Anywell's laser controller? Calibration for an axis means that your movement in the x-axis or the y-axis is the same physically as it is according to the computer's measurements. That is to say, if the, let's say, y-axis moves 10 inches from one position to the next position, the computer also has to understand that the y-axis moved 10 inches as well. Calibration generally relates to the mechanical configuration of the motors and the ratio of the belt teeth to the motor steps. But with these laser controllers, you really don't need to know the specifics of the mechanical configuration when you're calibrating. But it is important to set up the driver so you're getting the number of steps per millimeter that you expect. Calibration is done within the LaserCAD application. The first thing you want to do is go into the options and go to system options and go to the manufacturer's parameters. This will have the unit of measurement per pult, meaning how far this axis is going to travel for a single step or pult on the stepper motor. What you see here may not actually be what is stored in the laser controller. So you first have to read and then once you press the read button, the stored values from the laser controller will be transferred to the computer in this application. These are my current calibration settings, and you're going to be using this button with the ellipsis to calibrate. And all this is doing is doing a computation. It doesn't read uh, the position of the, the, laser, uh, the laser nozzle. All it does is it, it takes these inputs and does a calculation. What you're going to do is you're going to put in a value of the experience of a move or some marks that you've made with the nozzle from one point to another you're going to say what you expected it to be and what the actual two points distance is so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to get out of this dialog box because we don't want to be here right now because we want to move the machine and make some marks you can see there's an x value and a y value on the control panel this is the actual position of the nozzle or where it thinks the nozzle is i'm going to move the nozzle down until the nozzle is approximately at the bottom of my axis. Since I moved the y-axis, the y-axis number actually changed and my number is 6.6 .6 millimeters. You're gonna to wanna to note that number, write it down, because you'll be using that number later on in the calculations. I'm gonna fire the laser to put a dot at this location move the nozzle up and then fire the laser again at another location. You want to make sure that the distance from dot to dot is as great as it can be. The longer or the farthest distance you can make these dots, the more accurate you're going to have the calibration. I'm going to use the laser button to fire the laser. I'm just going to hit it very quickly to get a small dot on the surface. You can see the tiny little dot that it made here. So we're gonna move the y-axis up and do another dot. Once you're satisfied with the position, note this number and then press the laser button again to make another dot. Now you can measure physically from the, the bottom dot to the top dot. The position of my first location is at 6.6 .6 millimeters, and the location of my second dot is 1170 millimeters, 1170 millimeters. I measured between those two dots at 1163. So the difference of these two equal 1163.4. So my, so my controller's values are very close to my actual output. So let's go ahead and see what we need to do to change this number or to calibrate it within the software. I'm going to go back into the options, system options, manufacturer's parameters. I'm going to read the values in the laser controller again just to make sure I have the current values. Okay, and I was working with the y-axis, so my expected was 1163.4 and my actual length was 1163. So it's going to modify this value here maybe a little bit or maybe a lot depending on how far off your values are and then what you do is you press save once you've done this axis and maybe the other axis if you need to do that 
and then you're gonna be you're gonna need to enter a password which is generally the model number of the Anywell's laser controller minus 608 so that is how to calibrate your your individual axes on the laser controller I hope this helps thank you for watching I've given you a tiny bit of knowledge because I'm doing this for peanuts you can show your support by clicking the like button go ahead you can do it click it go ahead and also by subscribing and clicking on the notifications oh look i've made it to 1.1 million. Oh no that's not me oh yeah and go to my channel where you can find all of the playlists